Hey, adventurers and dragons dogma enthusiasts, today we're diving deep into the world of Dragon's Dogma 2, specifically focusing on a new and perilous threat that's been turning heads and raising alarms amongst the community, Dragon's Plague. This insidious affliction poses a unique challenge to players, particularly those fond of their pawn companions. So, let's break down everything you need to know about Dragon's Plague, from identifying it to the drastic consequences of letting it spread, and most importantly, how to avoid or mitigate its effects. Dragon's Plague, a new threat to pawns. Dragon's Plague is a sinister affliction that targets pawns in Dragon's Dogma 2. This contagion is no respecter of origins, affecting both player-created and Capcom-created pawns alike. The game gives you a heads up when you encounter an infected pawn, warning of the contagion's ability to spread and hinting at a devastating calamity that looms if left unchecked. Spotting the infection. Identifying a pawn with Dragon's Plague isn't immediately obvious through their behavior or status panels. Instead, look for these subtle hints. Red eyes, the most glaring sign is literally a glaring sign infected pawns exhibit unnaturally red eyes, distinct from any character creation choices. Physical ailments, pay attention to your pawns when they're idle. Infected ones may show signs of illness like coughing, spitting or experiencing migraines, with the latter having a noticeably longer animation. The misconception about red eyes. Not every pawn with red eyes is a carrier of Dragon's Plague. Some players might design their pawns with red eyes for aesthetic reasons. If you encounter a red-eyed pawn in the rift without receiving a warning, they're just flaunting a fashion choice, not spreading a plague. Dealing with Dragon's Plague Curing Dragon's Plague isn't as straightforward as quaffing a potion. Here are the only known methods to cure or stop the condition. Quick dismissal. If you act swiftly, you might be able to dismiss an infected pawn before the disease spreads to your squad. Pass it on. Ironically, the infected pawn gets cured by passing the disease to another, forcing you to then dismiss the newly infected pawn. Pawn sacrifice, the most drastic measure involves letting the infected pawn die without reviving them, utilizing deep water or monsters to do the deed. They can be respawned at a rift stone, but this doesn't apply to support pawns which need to be rehired. The Calamity of Dragon's Plague Ignoring Dragon's Plague can lead to a catastrophic event where infected pawns erupt in a dark shroud, resulting in their automatic dismissal and the death of NPCs within settlements. This calamity turns bustling cities into graveyards, significantly impacting your gameplay and quest progression. Avoiding Disaster to prevent the calamity, be vigilant about checking your pawns for symptoms, especially before resting at inns, as this triggers the calamity cutscene for terminally ill pawns. PC players can benefit from keeping backup saves, and an eternal wakestone from defeating a sphinx can revive multiple NPCs simultaneously. Some players have reported NPCs reviving after waiting several in-game days, but this method's effectiveness seems inconsistent. Conclusion, stay alert and prepared. Dragon's Dogma 2 introduces Dragon's Plague as a compelling gameplay mechanic that emphasizes vigilance and decision-making in managing your pawn companions. By understanding the signs of infection and knowing how to mitigate its spread, you can protect your party and the world from this devastating affliction. Remember, the key to facing Dragon's Plague is awareness, quick action, and sometimes making the hard choice to let a pawn go for the greater good of your quest and the world of Dragon's Dogma. That's all for our deep dive into Dragon's Plague in Dragon's Dogma 2. Keep your pawns close, but your cures closer, and may your adventures in this fantastical world be free of plague and full of wonder. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more Dragon's Dogma 2 tips, tricks, and guides. Safe travels arisen.